little bigger than like the space, the universe, and the world all combined. Um, like really big, like of the sun. Well, he can keep the he keeps the world running and keeps us high spirited. And if we make a mistake, he still believes in us. He like helps me like meet friends. God um helps um hospitals and bring babies in the world. God is big enough to help with our personal decisions. Using three forces, God molded both the universe and the individual. Gravity forces binds a solar system together. Electromagnetic forces bind atoms together. And the strong force binds the nucleus of an atom together. We should expect God to also bind us spiritually. The strong force works quickly over short distances to bind nuclear forces. If God can stabilize the powerful forces within an atom, then He can stabilize our individual lives. The magnetic force is able to either attract or repel. God helps us attract positive things into our lives and repel destructive things. Gravity is the weakest force, yet working 15 billion years, it built our universe. Mankind was created very near the end of that timeline. God is big enough to create a new life for any person on any given day. God is big enough to help with our personal decisions. Today we're talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, three young men who were in captivity in a foreign land, the land of Babylon. Uh, they were people who worshiped one God, the God of Israel, but they were in this land where there were other gods. Not only were there other gods, there was a fiery furnace, which we have right here. Let's take a look at that. Open that. That is a 2,000 degree fiery furnace. You wouldn't want to step in there at all, even this close. It's almost unbearably hot. So we as glass blowers work with furnaces that stay at a constant temperature of 2,400 degrees. They're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week so we can manipulate the, the, the material, so we can mold the glass and work with it at all times. Uh, these young men were told they had to worship the king himself named King Nebuchadnezzar. They were told there would be a trumpet blowing. When that trumpet blew, every person in all the country had to kneel and worship this statue, golden idol, King Nebuchadnezzar. And they refused. When they refused, they were told this, if you don't, you'll be thrown into a fiery furnace where you will be burned to a crisp. Then they come to one of my favorite lines in the scripture. They say, be it known to you, O king, that our God can deliver us from the fiery furnace. But if he doesn't, we will still not bow down and worship you or any other God. And there the story goes on. Built upon their faith, commitment, trust, belief and confidence in the God that they believed, prayed to, and trusted. Yes, they'll be delivered. That's another story you'll hear a little in a few moments. But now, no, again, the words they said, be it known to you, our God can deliver us. But if He doesn't, we're still going to worship Him and no other gods at all.